Hi, it's Kent Barber here from Game Logic Design. Today I'm going to take you through using the Sculpt Animator object in 4D Publish. So here I am in R19. I'm just going to load in a file from the content browser. It's under Sculpting Example Scenes, scenes and it's called Modular. Modular Animal. It's by Eric Smith. And uh, this comes in and it's got a bunch of layers that control, uh, have sculpting on them for each specific layer. So we're going to do that. Let's just ignore that. And we're going to come in. We're going to come up to 40 Publish. And we're going to go Sculpt Animator. Then I'm just going to drag in the animal into the Sculpt Object link. And it comes up with a whole bunch of layers here. So now let's switch back to our uh, standard layout. And we're just going to start animating this. So let's click on that again. And let's uh, turn these all the way down first. And I'm going to leave that and animate all of these. So I'm going to come to number 20 here. And I'm going to turn that one down and turn this one up. And we'll animate those. And then uh, I'll just make sure they're all animated. i come to the next frame. I'll pull that one down. Pull this one up. And we'll animate all of those. This one. Pull that down. Pull this one up. Animate all of those. This one, pull that down and pull that up, and we'll animate all of those. Rewind, and we click play, and we see it's going to be animating through all the different sculpt layers. Now we can come up to the object itself again, and just double click it, and uh, you can see as I animate, you'll see all the actual sculpt layers uh, animating. Now it only works at the current scub, uh, level that you have, so if you change subdivision levels then you won't see any of the uh, layers in here. Uh, you need to be at the level that you want to animate at, so these need to be sculpted at the level that you're going to be animating at. You can also freeze it. If you freeze it, then it will reduce the memory footprint within the sculpting system itself. But as far as the speed goes, it's going to be roughly about the same speed. And the speed is basically determined based on how many polygons you got. Okay, so that's using the Sculpt Animator object to animate sculpt layers.